guys, welcome to my channel, it's Latavia. So the moral of this video is stop wearing blush. No, I'm just kidding. You can still wear blush, but I am just going to make a video to you all just stating how you have to be careful with which blushes you choose. So a little background story is I went to aesthetic school, obviously, there's 10 of us in the class. Two of us were suffering with acne, and yes, you're correct, one of them was me, and then there was another girl. But we were both suffering with acne, but we both had very different cystic acne. She only had cystic acne right on her cheeks, and everywhere else literally was crystal clear. And then for me, everything was like right in the jawline, and then I would get really bad cystic acne papules by my nose. So we both suffered from it, but she suffered mainly on her cheeks. I was thinking about this, she absolutely loved blush a lot. So every day she'd swirl that blush on and it was just right on her cheeks where her cystic acne was. I mean, we learned about ingredients in school, but I learned more about ingredients on myself doing my own research after school. So I put the correlation together of if I would have known that blush was so terrible with the ingredients, then maybe I could have helped her out. Well, there's lots of blushes out there, right? And some of you may be using Ulta blushes or Walmart or Walgreens blushes, and they're just fine. And that is awesome because some of you are born with just beautiful skin and it doesn't matter what you use, you're going to have clear skin. And that is like every girl's dream, right? So kudos to you, congratulations. But a lot of us, like me, so I have really acne prone skin, and then it's more on, on the oily side, then obviously if I'm going to use a really nasty blush on my cheeks, then I'm probably going to break out. So there's blushes out there that are so amazing for the skin. And a lot of times, a lot of people just don't know that there's healthy blushes. And so that's all this video is about, is I've got a couple of blushes that I absolutely love, and then there's several that I used to have and I used to wear that I do not like and that are horrible. So blushes mainly contain a lot of talc. They contain a lot of red 40, which is the color pigment, right? It's the fake pigment dye that makes the color of the blush. But the thing is, is a lot of those color pigments are horrible for the skin, especially red 40. So the red color dyes are the worst, and if you're applying that on your face on a daily, then obviously there might be a little bit of irritation and there might be acne following that. So talc is another ingredient that's in a lot of non-organic blushes, right? We've all heard about it. And talc can really cause a lot of irritation and acne on the face. Plus there's mineral oil sometimes in a lot of blushes and mineral oil definitely is more of an occlusive, so it just stays on the surface of the skin and harbors bacteria and causes breakouts. So this is kind of interesting. So I used to use this hard candy highlighter. I loved it a lot. And this was two years ago. So two years ago, I decided to make the change to organic makeup. So this was before that time. And this is the hard candy. You can find it at Walmart and it's a beautiful highlighter. It's called Honeymoon and you can apply it wet or you can apply it dry, and I would just apply it right on my cheekbones. And I started to break out really bad in cystic acne right where I'm putting my highlighter. And I find that that happens to a lot of girls. They use just highlighter right on the top of their cheekbones, and then all of a sudden they're breaking out. So they're applying blush, they're breaking out here, and they're applying highlighter, which is right here, and they're breaking out. So in this particular one, it does have the talc, it has the dimethicone, which I talk a lot about dimethicones and silicones on my channel anyway, but those are really horrible for acne breakouts, especially if you already have acne going on and then you're going to apply something with a silicone. Silicones just stay on the surface of the skin. They make it appear smoother, but all they're doing is harboring bacteria. And it also contains a lot of uh, methyl parabens and nasty parabens that are not going to be healthy for the skin. I am just not a huge fan of parabens. Some of you may think otherwise and that's okay, but I definitely got rid of this 
when I started to break out and when I started to dive deeper into ingredients and why it's so important to pick the right ingredients for your skin, especially if you're like me and you break out a lot. So I also used to wear this bed head and this is their cheeky blush and this one as well. Like I loved the color and everything, but it contains talc. It contains a lot of dimethicones and things that made me break out so bad. And so you have to be careful with blushes. So going back to the red 40 dyes and those type of dyes and blushes, they're very irritable on the skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. So if you find that you're breaking out a lot on your cheeks and breaking out a lot where the highlight goes, then you may want to consider getting a new blush. So two blushes that I absolutely fell in love with is on Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com. And you get an app for it and it's basically it's basically just an online store of just wonderful homemade goodies and just people all over the world that are making really awesome stuff and a lot of it is organic so little stuff for you minerals is absolutely amazing brand and i correlate with her a lot on my channel because i love her foundations they're very organic and very beautiful especially if you have acne prone skin like me and this all has in it is mica, has kaolin, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, jojoba oil, and palm oil esters and iron oxides, vitamin E, and that's it. So if I picked up another blush, it would probably have a huge long line of ingredients and pretty much all of them are going to be bad for, you, for your skin. So this is their sun dazed blush and it's absolutely beautiful. It does have a little bit of um, some sheenness to it, so it's not matte, but it's really pretty, and I love her makeup, love her foundation, but her blush is amazing, and it's not gonna make you break out. That's the best part. This one is Heresy Cosmetics, and I will put these down below in the description box, but this one's Pretty Pink Ribbon. All this one has in it is mica, kaolin clay, jojoba oil, um, caranuba wax, iron oxides, and it may contain titanium dioxide. So all of her stuff on her website are very clean and organic. And what you find about the organic blushes is that they're using pigment dyes from fruit and they're not fake at all. So that's why they're absolutely amazing and they're paraben free and they're not going to make you break out. So I really hope that I spoke to someone watching my video today that will make a difference because if I would have known about, you know, highlighters containing a lot of nasty ingredients and blushes, I probably would have saved my skin a couple of scars. I mean, I have a pockmark scar on each cheek because of my horrible experience with blush. And then I used to use horrible bronzer too. So it may not be the foundation that you're using that's making you break out. It may be your blush, it may be your highlighter, it may be your bronzer powder, and you think it's fine because it's a powder form, but that is incorrect. Also, I know my cheeks look really bad right now because I'm going through a chemical pill stage. And if you have not checked out my chemical peel video, then please do it, it's amazing. And I just kind of talk about why chemical peels are so good for your skin and why you should try one. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will put these down in the description box down below for you. Please subscribe. I recently reached 500 subscribers and I cannot thank you guys enough. It is because of you guys that I got there and I appreciate the support. I will see you guys next time.